treat everybody like, oh, no, not everybody, treat everybody like Christmas, you know, but why not, why not, I love Christmas, so treating everybody like Christmas would be meaning that I'm nice, so that's good, right, no, okay, I'm totally gonna read the questions off the computer because, uh, yeah, they're long, and I'm forgetful, so. Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with the Buddy the Elf book tag, which is honestly my favorite Christmas movie in the entire world, so I am way too excited to film this video. It was created by Magical Molly. I'll leave her link down below. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but again, Elf is my life, so we're doing it. So without further ado, let us get started. The first question is treat every day like Christmas and it is one book you love to read no matter the time of the year. I'm going to go with Anne and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I absolutely loved this book and I think it would be good for any time of the year. Winter would be super fun to cozy up and cuddle and read because it's like a warm fuzzy book but then in the summer it's also kind of funny so like you can laugh a lot which is what I like to do in the summer. I mean I like to laugh all the time but I feel like it would be good all the time. All the time. The second question is Buddy Spaghetti. What are two characters who are complete opposite who you think go well together? And I am going with Natalia and Bran from Upside Down by Leah Riley. Natalia is like basically a goody two shoes OCD girl and then Bran is like the bad boy and you wouldn't think that you know like an OCD girl and a bad boy would be good together but they are the cutest couple. They're adorable and I love them together and if you haven't read this book which I'm assuming you probably haven't because like nobody has Read this book because it's super cute and I really enjoyed it. The third question is the Clausometer. What is one book that you are 100% fangirl about? Totally think that you guys are never going to get this. I mean, obviously it would not be The Death by Cody Keplinger because I'm obsessed with it, but you know, it's fine. It's, it's definitely not. It's definitely not. It's my life. I love it so much. <sighs> Except if you haven't read this, don't think of it like the movie because the movie was not good, but the book is good. So read the book, disregard the movie, and it will be a good time. Okay? Okay. The fourth question is the best way to spread Christmas cheer is to sing loud for all to hear. And that is what recent read did you love so much that you want to sing its praises from the rooftops? And I'm going to go with Merciless by Danielle Vega. I recently read this book. I'm going to have a review up for it super soon, so I'll link it down below if y'all are interested in that. I loved this book. I thought it was really interesting and it was like had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. It was so good. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. The fifth question is Son of a Nutcracker and it is a book where you did not like the ending and I am going with Allegiant by Veronica Roth. That's all I'm going to say. Bye. Question number six is He Must Be a South Pole Elf. And that question is what book character did you have a bad first impression with by mispronouncing their name? And I'm gonna go with Selena from The Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I was calling her Selena for the longest time. I mean, come on, it, it kind of looks like Selena. No, not really, but I'm going with that excuse. That I haven't read this book. I've had it since summer. Still have not gotten to it. I heard great things. Still have not gotten to it. That's all I'm gonna say. Question number seven is Santa Claus is coming to town. What is the book you want the most for Christmas? And I'm going to say Illuminae by Anna Kaufman. It looks so good. And it's so interesting and everybody's saying it's amazing and I want it so bad but I can't have it because I have way too many books already I haven't read. So, yeah, I want it. And question number eight is who do you tag? I'm going to leave that down below because I don't know who's been tagged or not. And uh, if, if you haven't been tagged yet, I tag you. Seriously, you tag you're it. Alright guys, so that was the Buddy the Elf book tag. I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas and whatever it is that you celebrate. Be happy during those times. Okay, okay. Goodbye! Book character, did you have a first...